I have a teenage boy and all he wants to wear is sweatpants and because of that I've had to deal with the problem of strings falling out of his pants in the laundry. In this video I'm going to go through six different ways that you can get strings back in sweatpants and you're bound to have the things you need for at least one of them. And I'm going to let you know at the end which one I think is the best. Alright so let's try option one and that is a safety pin. So you're just going to put the safety pin through the end of the string and kind of shove it through the hole with the string. Problem with the safety pin method is it takes a long time to kind of pull that string around. And then when you get to the end, just poke that safety pin through the hole and pull the string out. That's the most common method, but I honestly think it's one of the worst. If you don't have a safety pin, a bobby pin can work in basically the same way. And you're just gonna take that and put it around the string. Make sure it's tight on there. You might need to tie a knot. And then you're just gonna stick the bobby pin with the string in there and pull that through. But this method also takes a long time. A method that I've used on hoodies before is to use a pen or a mechanical pencil and just slip that string right under the clip on it and use that to go through the, the hoodie. Unfortunately, on all of the sweatpants and pajama pants that I had as examples, the pen or pencil does not fit. The holes tend to be a little bit smaller on pants than they are on hoodies. But if you're working on a hoodie, a mechanical pencil or a pen can work sometimes. Next up is a method I really like, and that's to use a chopstick. This can also work with strong coffee stirs, anything that's a long stick. So first you have to attach that string to the chopstick in some way. You can use either tape or a stapler. If there's an aglet on the end of the string, don't staple through that. Try to staple through the soft cloth of the string. You're just gonna line that up and jam the staple in there. And you see that'll hold it really tight. Then just put that into the pants. And you can see once this method gets going, it's really fast. And then just bring that out the other side. And then just be careful pulling that staple out. Try not to rip your string. All right, next up is a zip tie. And this is actually one of my favorite methods. So you're gonna take a zip tie and you're gonna attach the string to the pointy end of the zip tie. Generally tape should work all right for this and some stronger tape like ta packing tape works best. Then after that zip tie is connected, you're just gonna stick the square part of the zip tie through the hole in the shorts or pants. Just bring it around and pull it through the hole on the other side. You see why I like that method, it goes really quickly. Last method I wanted to show you is the straw method. So you can take any plastic or paper straw. If you can get the string inside of the straw, that's best, but that doesn't work with these pajama pants that have a knot on the end of them. But these athletic pants have an aglet on the end that fits right inside the straw. If you can't fit it in the straw, you can just put it next to the straw and use it a lot the way we use the chopstick as well. And then you're just gonna tape or staple that on there. And then just go ahead and insert the straw into the hole and work your way around. And then bring it through the hole on the other side. And again, make sure you don't lose the string when you're pulling it out. The straw method is definitely one of my favorites because it works really well. And most people have a straw around or you can get one at a fast food restaurant. So if I had to pick my favorite methods, I would probably say zip tie is my favorite because having that little square on the end to grab onto as you pull it through is probably the easiest and straw would be second. But straw is probably the most practical because everybody has those. And if you like this video, please subscribe. I'm trying to get my subscriber numbers over 10,000. So help me out, give me a subscribe.